What is up everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about a very important topic, which is how to lower your ping and potentially get zero ping in Fortnite Chapter 5. I know a lot of you guys in this new chapter and even just overall struggle a lot with lowering your ping and making sure you have optimal performance. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a bunch of methods that you can use to improve your ping, to reduce your packet loss and overall make your game run way smoother. Before we get into it, be sure to drop a like on the video if it helps you out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more. And as always, guys, it's super, super, super appreciated if you could use code techo in the item shop it's 100 percent free for you it takes like five seconds to type in and it seriously does help me out a bunch as always a giant thank you to everyone who uses it and starting off this video i want to begin by talking about today's sponsor and a longtime sponsor of the channel which is no ping if you haven't heard of it before no ping is one of the best methods you can use to improve your ping and overall performance in fortnite no ping is known as a game tunnel network which essentially means that instead of your connection being routed through your own internet it's instead sent through no ping's premium servers providing you a close and direct connection to epic servers and that in turn can lower your ping dramatically. Not only can no ping lower your ping dramatically, but they also have an FPS boost feature, which optimizes your settings to reduce input delay and boost FPS, a keyboard response feature, which reduces input delay, and so much more. So if you guys find that you're not happy with your current ping or your overall performance, which I'm assuming is the case if you're watching a video about how to lower your ping, then no ping is definitely for you. All you need to do is head to my link, which is going to be in the description and in the pinned comment. And by using my link, you'll be able to get started with a free trial to see exactly how much your performance improves. It's seriously a fantastic app and it can do wonders for your performance, so be sure to check out No Ping near the top of the description or in the pinned comment to get started. And thank you, No Ping, once again for sponsoring today's video. So, getting into our first method for this video, and I know this is a very, very simple one, but the first method I have for you guys is selecting the best region. This may seem like common sense to some of you guys, but a lot of people actually have the wrong region selected in Fortnite, and that causes their ping to be super high. It's super, super easy to check and fix if this is the issue. All you need to do is head into Fortnite, and on the third page of your settings, you're gonna find your region. You can either set this to auto which is going to choose the region closest for you or you can manually select the region closest to you or the one that has the lowest ms value this is a very very quick tip and it's a super simple thing but if you have this wrong for any reason then fixing it is going to make a giant difference the next tip i have for you guys is to update your drivers for those of you on pc one of the most important things that you can do is make sure that you're consistently updating your drivers for your network since out of date drivers can increase your ping dramatically and increase your packet loss all you need to do here is simply go to your desktop and search up device manager Locate your network adapters section, which should be on there near the bottom, and find your main Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection on there. As you can see on mine, near the top I have both my wireless and Ethernet connections listed. Since I use Ethernet, meaning my PC is directly wired into my router, I'm going to go ahead and select the Ethernet one, and then all I got to do is select Update Driver. So you simply right-click on whichever internet you're using and update your driver. You can search automatically, and then you're going to be prompted with one of two things. Either your drivers are up to date and you're all good, or you can find updated drivers that you can download. It's going to tell you right there on the screen, so it should be no problem. Problem. Getting into our next tip, and this one is to verify your game files. Verifying your game files is another very simple yet very important way to make sure that you're getting the most out of your PC, both in terms of ping and in terms of FPS. What verifying your files does is it searches all of your Epic Games files and makes sure there's nothing corrupted, nothing damaged, or nothing out of date that could make your performance worse. I guess this applies for both ping and FPS, to be honest with you guys, but issues with your game files that would be fixed by this can also cause higher ping, so it's definitely worth doing. All you need to do is go into your Epic Games launcher. You're going to go to your library and then select the three dots next to Fortnite. You're going to click manage and then verify game files. Once you click that, it's automatically going to search your files. It shouldn't take too long. I'd say it usually takes about five minutes or so. And if you have any issues, it's going to fix them right then and there. In a worst case scenario, if it finds a lot of issues or something like that, then you can always completely reinstall your game to be on the safe side. But personally, I recommend you just verify your game files to make sure everything's all right. Getting into our next method, and this one's for my PC players out there. One thing you could do within your Epic Games launcher is add some command line arguments, which are basically extra instructions to your game that can lower your ping. For this part, I'm going to be showing you guys a command that you can use if you find yourself getting packet loss. This is something that Epic lists directly on their website and something they specifically recommend. It's not recommended for lowering consistently high ping, but if you find your internet freezing, cutting out, or you get the dreaded red X next to your network stuff, then this could help improve that a ton. Basically, if you find yourself getting packet loss, then this is what Epic recommends you do to fix it. To do this, you want to head into your Epic Games launcher. You're going to go to settings and you're going to scroll all the way down to Fortnite, and from there you're going to go ahead and check enable additional command line arguments then from there what you're going to want to type is the following minus limit client ticks and it's all going to be one word and to be honest with you guys i don't know exactly what this does within your game but it's what epic recommends you do and it helps a lot of people that have high packet loss so it's definitely worth a shot and if you try this out and you find that it doesn't help then you can always undo what you did but a lot of players who face high packet loss and high ping can definitely benefit a lot from this setting so definitely give it a shot getting into our next tip and this one is a super super 
super important one, perhaps the most important tip on this list, regardless of what device you play on, and that's to use a wired connection. A lot of you guys out there are still using a Wi-Fi connection to play Fortnite, but the problem with this is that the signal has to basically travel through the air to your router, and that causes a lot more delay and can cause inconsistencies in your ping. Not only is your ping going to be higher, but it can basically cut out for any reason, and I'm sure if you play on Wi-Fi, you've experienced this plenty of times. On the other hand, if you directly hardwire your device to your router, then your connection is going to be direct, it's going to be way faster, and it's going to be way more consistent. So all you need to do here is find a good ethernet cable. You can find them pretty cheap on Amazon or pretty much any computer related store. I recommend you go for a category six or higher. That's going to be in the name of the product pretty much. And it just means how much bandwidth it can handle. Category six or higher is perfect and should be fine for everyone's internet. And this direct connection personally lowered my ping from about 50 to about 25 when I started using it, which is a super good deal considering the cable I bought only costed around 15 US dollars. And if you ask me 15 bucks to basically cut my ping in half, I'll take that deal all day. So overall, guys, I cannot stress this enough. Using a wired connection is one of the most important things you can do if you want to lower your ping. So I definitely recommend you guys do that. And finally, guys, getting into our last tip for this video, and this one is simply going to be some in-game settings you can adjust to improve your ping. I really only have two major parts of this that's really not going to be too much stuff, but it is going to be helpful nonetheless. The first thing I recommend you guys do is turn all forms of replays off, as the replays recording in the background can hurt your performance. You can always turn these on if you want to get some replays to VOD review or anything like that. And you can feel free to keep them on if you're VOD reviewing your games, obviously. But if you don't plan on VOD reviewing or using your replays for anything else, then definitely turn them off for the time being. If you ever need to turn them back on because you want to VOD review your games or something like that, then that's definitely not a problem. And another quick tip is that your FPS and your ping do go hand in hand. For example, if you're on PC and you usually play on 144 or 240 hertz, try setting your FPS down to 30 and you're going to notice your ping basically doubles. I don't exactly know why it is, but your ping and your FPS do actually go hand in hand. So having high FPS is going to improve your ping. So what I recommend you do here is definitely consider lowering your graphics settings or maybe even using performance mode like I do. You definitely want to make sure motion blurs off as it's going to make your game feel a little bit more delayed and keep vsync off if you have the option for it. Those are kind of a couple of random settings there, but overall, if you optimize your in-game settings to improve your FPS as well, it is going to help you improve your ping. But with all that said, guys, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video on how to get zero ping or at least reduce your ping dramatically in Fortnite Chapter 5. Overall, we've covered a lot of different methods in this video and hopefully by using all these methods, you should be able to at least make a pretty significant dent in your ping. I tried to cover all the stuff that's simple to do but makes a big difference, so hopefully this all works for you guys. If you find this video helpful, then be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more content just like this in the future. I post a ton of Fortnite tips and tricks content constantly, so definitely stay on the lookout for whatever's next. And finally guys, definitely make sure you check out No Ping, which is going to be linked down in the description and in the pinned comment. I'm telling you guys, if you find yourself struggling with ping even after all these methods that I recommended, No Ping could be the difference. It seriously is super useful app so definitely give it a shot if you haven't already and finally guys let me know down in the comments what videos you guys want to see next on the channel i've got a lot of videos in the works already but i'm always looking for new ideas so let me know what you guys want to see but with all that said guys thank you all for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now